It's Dave and Lily, and welcome to Dave's Hunting, Shooting, and Bushcraft, Dave's HSB. And this week, I'm going to be doing a review of a trail camera, the Campark T200. So stick around and see how it goes. Dave out. Lily and we're in the hunting barn and uh, I got a trail camera we're going to talk about. We got it from Cam Park and they asked us, hey, give this one a test. And uh, so off we go. Well, actually, they let me choose. I chose this one because I thought it looked pretty cool and it had, uh, I want to try their Wi-Fi. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a gander at what, what you get when you get the box. So first you get a nice sturdy box that comes in, which I appreciate. You get a solar panel that connects to the camera. You get a camera, trail camera, and we'll get a close-up look at that in a minute. And make sure when you get the trail camera before you put it out in the field, take all the plastic coverings off the lenses and the uh, infrared and the sensors. Because if you don't, it'll interfere with how well it, uh, how well it shoots and how well it does. So you want to make sure to do that. All right, so you also get a set of instructions, but more importantly, I think, than the instructions, is you get some QR codes. And one of the QR codes will direct you to the uh, cam park where you can get the manual that covers the solar panel and the trail camera all at one. You also get a QR code that tells you what software you need to load to run the Wi-Fi. And the software is, is um, called Hunting 4K Pro. So I went on to uh, Apple and I downloaded it. It was free. And uh, then you're off and ready. You can do your Wi-Fi. Get a nice strap. But why I like the straps that Cam Park does, well, so far in the cameras I reviewed, they have this little latch. So good for them. That's cool. You get a USB cable. So if you want to hook your camera up to your computer, you can. You get a cord with a... Uh, that lets you charge up your solar panel. Important to do before you first put it out, get that solar panel all charged up. It's got a lithium battery inside of it. And then you get some mounting if you want to do like a flat mount on something. So you get, you get that and the hardware to do that. So that's available as well. The camera itself is like um, several other cameras and I'll put all the specs in there. It has fast trigger speed. It's got uh, um, excellent resolution um, and different levels you can set at. You can set it to shoot video. You can shoot video and photo or you can shoot just photo. You can do single photo. You can do bursts. Um, there's a whole lot of variety. You can set your video to certain lengths and uh, so that's all in the settings, in the process you can go through. You have a lot of flexibility with this camera, which I really appreciate. It also has Wi-Fi. Now, Wi-Fi is, is um, unique in trail cameras in that the Wi-Fi is available to you when you're in range of the camera. So you have to turn on the, you go to the app, and it'll run you through the process. You turn on the Bluetooth, Bluetooth pings, and then uh, your, uh, your phone will uh, receive, and then you have to go in and accept. And for the first time, you have to uh, put in the password. Camp Park gives you the default password. So you put in the password, and you can set it up to be anything you want, but the default gets you in the first time. After that, it, it just remembers it, and you don't have to do that. But once it's set, and your Wi-Fi accepts what the signal the camera's putting out, you're in. And so what I did is I took a uh, screen video of my phone when I was out hunting and what I was doing. And then I played around a little bit to show you some of the features. But anyways, I'll, I'll play that right now. Right now I'm putting the camera or the phone in rec screen record. And we just went into settings. And I chose what kind of mode. You can see we're in photo and video. Then I chose the resolution. You can see I changed the resolution. I went to a lower one just to see the difference.
so you can see all the different options you have. This is all from your phone. Super easy to do. Check the time format. Make sure the date stamp's on. Next we go, this is a pretty cool feature I like. You can take a quick photo or a video. So like I was in the tree stand. If a deer walked by, I could have took a photo of it. Or I could have put video and started recording and recorded the hunt. So that's pretty cool. I like that option. Now we're into the, um, so you can see the videos and photos that have been recorded on the phone or on the uh, trail camera. And now you're looking at some photos. You can see it still has the photos and videos on from when it was down at the bridge. See how it load it loaded in pretty fast. I'm scrolling down and I zip down there pretty quick, but it's catching up. There we go. Gives an idea of the real time speed of how things are loading through the Wi Fi. Now we'll tell you when you use the Wi Fi, you're gonna use a little bit of your battery. So it does have it's it has the lithium, but it also has eight um double A batteries. All right, that pretty much wraps it up. These are the kinds of things you can do through the Wi-Fi. It is much easier to use. You can see now it's you know making sure I want to check out. So there. Now I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I like the fact that when I'm within, I don't know, let's say 50 feet, that's probably a pretty good safe distance. If you're within 50 feet, you probably can access the Wi-Fi. Now here's the downsides to Wi-Fi. One is it's a drain on the battery and can be a drain on your phone battery as well. Uh, two, if you're going to use the Wi-Fi to download your videos, um, I would not do that if you have a lot of videos. I would consider like downloading the SD card or using the cable to hook it directly to your computer or something like that. If you use the Wi-Fi, it will take a while. It's not the end of the world, but it's going to take a little while to download and all those videos. I did it, I set up, when I did the testing, I set up to do photo and video. And uh, it, in the phone, when I'm going through it on the app, I have no problem uh, doing it. It took only a few seconds. And you'll see that, um, you just saw that when uh, you looked at my screen record. So, um, yeah, it has Wi-Fi, which is uh, just uh, super. I, I really, I do like that. That's it. Let me give you a close-up look of it, uh, of the of the camera, and then we're going to put this out in the field. All right, let's take a close, close look at this trail camera, but uh, we'll start with the solar panel. So the solar panel has a little um, connection where you hook it into the top of the camera, and that actually will latch and hold tight. It has a cord that comes separately, and so you put the cord in here. Put one end in here and it's intuitive because only this end fits this side and this end will go, this end will go into your camera. All right, it is that simple. You hook it up. The, it goes into that port right there. And that's where you hook it up. Hey, look, at the bottom you got a quarter 20 also. All right, so let's look at the uh, camera uh, exterior. So one, it's very solid. And uh, feels well built. So, and um, I think it's a pretty good looking camera if you were to ask me. Uh, I think it looks nice. So, let's look at the rear. Now, look, I was telling you about here's where a cable can go through. Now, look at that. So, it sits really nice on a tree because it has these, and they're not the same size. These little cones, these little spikes. These are taller on the outside, smaller on the inside. So it holds it nice on the tree. Here's where the strap goes through. And now look over here, another nice little touch. Look at that. Your, your Python cable or any kind of security cable you put through is, can also hold the latch. So that will prevent, to some degree, you know, somebody opening up your camera and stealing your SD card. 
So there you go. The other thing you got to like, or I do like, is these latches. I like latches like that. I think it's a, the best way to hold a camera shut. So, and it, when you're doing using this camera, you see the face opens. So the camera itself stays on the tree. So you can go into Wi-Fi and you can say, take a picture. And it'll take a picture right where you're at. So you know exactly what kind of view you're getting on that trail camera and how it's set up. Anyway, nice seal, nice and waterproof, good looking camera. I think they did a nice job. I hope you stick around. For you, it's gonna be like that, and we're gonna be at the, seeing the photos. In fact, boom, here they are. Here's the photo. Hey, it's Dave and Lily. We're out here uh, getting ready to switch locations on this T200 trail camera we've been trying out from Camp Park. And uh, nothing, nothing wrong with the camera, but it's time to switch locations. And I want to put it in a spot maybe where I get my, a little bit more video and photos. Right here, for whatever reason right now, and it's maybe because of the rut, the bridge is like mildly to slow active. So let's give it a chance and uh, shift it out. So we're gonna move it and I'm gonna put it up on the food plot in the Pinelands and uh, let's see how it does up there. All right, Dave out. There you go. I I personally thought the uh, I thought the quality of the videos and the uh, photos were were superb. Uh, big thumbs up. So let's talk about this camera. Kind of what we think about it. The goods. I like one that you get a solar charge charger with it. Um, it does a nice job. First place we had it was at the uh, bridge, and I don't know for whatever reason there wasn't a lot of traffic there, but. It was also, it's a very shady spot. And because of that, the camera was not able to recharge. And so it lost a lot of its charge. Then I put it out for 10 days, maybe a week and a half or so, out in the food plot by the Pinelands. And it had plenty of morning sun. So it maintained its battery from that point on. So it does a good job. You still will have to manage batteries. Directions you get with it. Um, are really just for the camera. You really need to use the QR codes. I like that they give you QR codes to go to. I also like how they give you a QR code to get your software for the uh, Wi-Fi. I love the strap. Um, I think they give you everything you need to do to get this out and running. The only thing you had to add um, uh, is an SD card and some batteries. And so I like that uh, aspect too. Uh, overall, I was, I've been impressed with the quality. I was a little worried at first when um, it didn't hold its charge too well, but then I looked. Um, I mean, it is a really shady spot. I don't know that I have any camera that I could put a solar panel there that would hold. But when I moved it into a spot that has moderate sunlight, well, it's winter sunlight, um, it did well. And so, um, yeah, I think it's. I think that's great. Yeah, I don't know that I have any um, real downsides to this uh, product, uh, the, T, the T200. Um, I think it's an excellent camera. If you like Wi-Fi like I do, um, I think you're gonna love this camera. I, I really do. I think you're gonna love the quality and 
the Wi-Fi is easy to access and get into. So I think that's a big plus. I love the latches. You can put a ca uh, cable through and also look, the cable will go through the first latch. How clever is that? Now, I like little details like this on the back. So it has the a bumpy, um, like little raised spikes on the back, but they're not at the even, the middle ones are a little lower than the outer. So this sits really straight on a tree. Um, I didn't have to put wedges and stuff behind it to make it sit straight, straight on either tree I put it on. I just used a strap and went at it. Uh, and so I thought that it's little touches like that that I think make a really good trail camera. The only downside I have is when you have to open the the camera. In order to open the face, you have to unplug the um, solar charger. Okay, not a big deal. Kind of a, you know, it's a little inconvenience, but it's really not that big a deal. So, um, what, do David, what does Dave and Lily think about this camera? Uh, so, could you guess? Yeah, we're going to give this one a big thumbs up as well. I do have an affiliate link with Campart, and so if you were to want in, if you want a trail camera, I'm going to put the link for this camera in my description, and you can uh, purchase it. Now, does Dave get any money for that? If enough are sold, but what Dave's going to do with that money, and here's the important part, 100% of it goes to fighting sickle cell or lymphoma. Why those two? My daughter has sickle cell, and I have lymphoma. So, um, to me, it makes sense. So, is Dave going to use any of that money? No. No. It is going to charity, 100%. How do you know? You have to trust me. Like I always say, make kindness your business. Do something kind for somebody. Help somebody out. Share the love. It just takes a minute. All right, for Dave and Lily, we hope you have a great day, and out.